So this video was sponsored by Aniba.com, which is a new gaming marketplace with over 9,000 digital products. Now, they will bring you the hottest deals in the market of any title, whether it be new or old. And with their excellent Trustpilot score, you can be rest assured that you will receive the product and that your gaming will continue without a hitch. Now, they even host massive sales with discounts up to 70%. And to help me out, you can make that 73% with my 3% discount code by just using Super Ebel when you are in the checkout. So go ahead, check it out. The link is in the description below. What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. Now every single video that I make for this game I always have something that I'm really really excited to share and just talk about and of course get your guys thoughts on which has been great so far. But that being said today I have shockingly amazing news. Like this is shocking but if you have been watching these videos for such a long time you would know that I've shared multiple ideas on things that I really, really would love to see in this game. And, well, it's actually happening. Now, this video is going to be jam-packed with loads of cool things, but as always, in the last couple of videos, I've been asking you guys important questions and getting your thoughts, etc. So, today we have another very important question, and this is a super interesting one. So, of course, leave your answers below. But the question is, if you could have one game mode that is added to this game either at launch or within the first year, what game mode would it be? Now, I want you guys to leave your thoughts in the comment section below and then leave a brief description of what the mode would basically be. Now, to give you guys a better idea, if you've again been watching these videos for such a long time, we had a really cool idea a long time ago about a Hulk mode which basically in a nutshell was you are Hulk and you have to destroy as many things as possible in a certain amount of time and that was basically the game mode in, in general and then of course you get rewards etc etc so leave your ideas in the comment section below and as always if you see ones that you think are cool thumbs them up and I guess add to the idea as well but you may be featured in the next video now diving in to the jam-packed video of just greatness let's kick it off with the shocking news that I was surprised to see but I'm just so so excited to actually I, I guess get my hands on the game now there was an interview with Scott Amos and I will show you a screenshot on screen and I will also link the article in the description below but he was asked Will there be choices that players can take and what impact will they have? Now he replied back by saying yes there will be, although I can't reveal much about it. History will have fixed points, uh, initial and intermittent but otherwise. Now can we hope for alternative endings? This is something I've been talking about for such a long time in even Spider-Man PS4. Alternative endings is just a great great thing to have in a story based game as well and well you guessed it because he replied back by saying there will be alternative endings yes and in any case the credits will not be the end the contents will be published in the months following the launch will continue to expand the experience and this really really is just the icing on the cake for me this is just finalized my hype for the game now Again, I've been talking about it for such a long time, right? What if each character you play as, you have decisions in the game and, you know, you can make a bad decision or a good decision and then it just finalizes how that story in the game is going to end. And at the same time, alternative endings for me, it's just a great way to jump back into the game and try out every single alternative ending possible. And I guess it's going to be very interesting because based on the alternative ending, and you know the new content they'll add to the game, whether we get like a story DLC or whatever it may be, this is definitely going to add to the gameplay experience and as an all-arounder, just make it a bunch of fun. Now you guys leave your thoughts on alternative endings in the comment section below and whether or not you think it should genuinely be for each character. Now moving on to the next topic, now this was on uh, I guess Reddit, the you know Marvel's Avengers Reddit page, which again always a great great community. Now. A lot of controversy is going on and this is about only getting six characters at launch. Now, you may or you may have not already heard, but yes, it's actually going to be a thing. There's only six characters at launch. And when I say only, I mean, I don't know why I'm saying only because that is still a bunch of characters because they're still going to be adding a lot more characters throughout the year or whatever, however long this game's going to last. Now, 
There was a post on Reddit, which I will link in the description below, but kabam, bam you can see on the screen it says, Why do people seem disappointed that we are only getting 6 characters at launch? Considering how many different gameplay styles there is, and the amount of work that has to go into just one character, I think 6 is pretty impressive. It's not like this, just a, you know, a Lego game or a Disney Infinity with similar characters and gameplay for each character. I mean, that's like saying you would have wanted every character from Endgame to have shown up in the first Avengers film. Six is more than enough, and being disappointed about only six comes off as a little entitled, and I'm just looking forward to seeing how much post-launch and blah, 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 blah. All the stuff we're really excited to see post-launch, all right? That is something we should really, you know, calm down on. And I guess it, well, this went into another sort of thread, which was about NPC characters, and this person said, with the speculation that launch uh, will only have six characters announced and playable, calling it speculation because we have no official confirmation, got me thinking about how many comic characters are going to be involved in the story. For example, Hank, who we have already seen in the story. So my question is, would you rather have characters interact with the Core 6 in the uh, story as NPCs and then be released as a DLC when they are playable, or for the characters to not be involved in the story and when the DLC are released for them to include more backstory for the character. By the way, I'm calling it a DLC, but I'm talking about future characters and stuff like that. I'm just not sure if it's the same thing. So both of these dudes had very, very valid and interesting points, and we all kind of, well, both of these comments do of course lead to that final, I guess, decision if you want to call it, which is post-launch, we're already getting a lot of stuff, and then what the future holds for this game seems like it's going to be very, very interesting. So I think moaning and complaining, which I've seen a lot of people do, really isn't, I, I guess, something we should be too bothered about. And also, they did post um, another little, I, I guess, video on Twitter, which again you can see on screen, which is play your way by unlocking new abilities through multiple skill trees to fit your personal st uh, play style for each Avenger. And of course we see Thor and Black Widow, and this just looks great. Personally speaking, from my experience when playing the demo, of course that was one thing, and seeing you know the same repetitive sort of footage with the A-Day demo, I guess it seems like whatever we're seeing next in terms of gameplay is going to be something completely different. And with them just showcasing things like this, it really does show the potential that this game has. Now to even add to this a little bit more, there was a PvP mission concept on Reddit by Revolution Doctor, um, and there is also credit to another person, which I will also link in the description below, who actually went ahead and you know design this etc etc now i have already posted this in my community tab and i know a lot of you guys actually were looking forward to something like this and thought it was a really cool idea so of course it is called smash and protect pvp mission one of aim's newest pieces of technology has sent the hulk on a rampage it's up to the rest of the avengers to put a stop to their friend misplaced rage before the city and its citizens become part of the collateral damage and then you have rewards, which is, you know, rear gear, which is a guaranteed reward, which is what we've already been seeing from, of course, the overview video. And then you get a performance bonus, which could be a random gear. And again, whether or not these are rear, legendary, whatever it may be, however they're going to be categoried, I guess you could say, is what's going to be really, really interesting. Now, I really did like this idea. And again, I did post it in my community tab, like I said, and I see a lot of you guys were really feeling the idea. And it does actually lead me on, I guess, what I was talking about earlier in the video, which was, you know, what if there was a Hulk mode? And then, of course, you know, Hulk is going on a rampage. This is part of the PvP mission, etc., etc. I think this is something very similar to some extent, um, and it could play in both ways, where you are Hulk, of course, and where you are the people, or well, the other Avengers, trying to stop Hulk. But you guys get in the comment section below and leave your thoughts on that one. I personally thought it was a really, really cool idea. And I mean, the community has been coming together in such a great way, sharing so many concepts, and it really really is I, not only driving the hype I would say for the game but I think it's great for the developers to see our feedback and really push whatever we can out there as much as possible because it's only going to help them make a better game and just from seeing where we are so far with them even polishing the game up graphically has been a very big difference and of course you know 4 being the most noticeable difference I, I guess in terms of at E3 and then currently so I think a lot of good stuff is going on but 
I am just really, really hyped up for this game and cannot wait to see more. But guys, that is going to wrap up this video. As always, subscribe for more awesome content if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, have yourselves a ridiculously amazing day. And until the next one, adios amigos.